There's the pitch, then the crack of the bat, and the roar of the crowd. If the ball's out of the park, chances are it's hit by a Louisville slugger. What it boils down to is the player wants the biggest bat that he can maintain his fastest bat speed. For two out of three major league players, the only way to hit a homer is with a slugger. But when you hear that crack, there's no vibration, there's no pain. It's just pure, I know I did it, and that ball is gone. This bat has been swung by the greatest players to ever take the diamond and continues to redefine the game of baseball with the new MLB Prime and the hardest finish ever made. The 9H hardness, the absolute hardest finishes ever put on a baseball bat. The Louisville Slugger has been at the top of the game for 130 years. Louisville Slugger means baseball, the most iconic bat in the history of the game. Baseball is America's national pastime, and nothing symbolizes the magic of the game more than take me out to the ball game, ballpark Franks, and the Louisville Slugger. The bat used by Babe Ruth and Ted Williams and Joe DiMaggio and Mickey Mantle and right on through today's great players. Babe Ruth hit with a bat that weighed 42 ounces. Today, pro bats are harder and weigh almost 20% less. Even with today's advancements, it doesn't make it any easier for the pros to find their personal home run bat. Guys play 10 or 15 years sometimes and still never land on one model. Finding the right combination of speed and weight from the 2,200 different slugger models can be like searching for a needle in a haystack. To get them to the point where they walk to the plate, don't even think about the bat, that's Nirvana. And the road to Nirvana begins with the wood. Light and strong ash used to be the hands-down favorite. It kind of boiled down to ash for about 80 years. It was uh, the most lenient and gave the most crack for the bat. Then, in the 2001 season, a game changer, a maple bat made home run history. Barry Bonds had a really, really great year, and uh, that kind of paved the way for maple to come back in the picture. Now, the majority of major league hitters have switched to maple because it has a harder hitting surface. Regardless of the wood, every slugger starts out as a billet, a long, solid cylinder of wood extracted from harvested trees. The starting billet is three inches of diameter and 37 inches long. When the billets arrive at the factory in Kentucky, they're sorted out by grade and half ounce increments. When I pick one up, I want to look at it, make sure it doesn't have any big chunks missing, any big knots, any dead spots in the wood. Next, the billet is turned on a CNC lathe machine that is set to the player's exact specifications. We try to get them all within no more than three to five tenths of an ounce off of what they order, the lengths, the weights, the finish. Now, a grain test is done to measure whether the grain in the wood is straight. The MLB has strict specifications. Flaws in the grain can cause the wood to break or splinter. We're trying to reduce breakage without it flying out in the outfield or hitting the shortstop or impaling people. If the bat passes the test, the knobs at the end are sawed off and the barrel is sanded. The story of the Louisville Slugger began in 1884 when Pete the Gladiator Browning, the star player for the Louisville Clips, broke his favorite bat. Back in 1884, Bud Hillrick used to love to sneak away and go watch the baseball games. It was after the game that Bud invited Pete back to his father's woodworking shop and then made him a custom bat. And he took the bat to the ballpark the next day. He got three hits, his team won the game, and thus the Louisville Slugger was born. That bat pulled Browning out of his slump and launched Hillerick's woodworking company into the bat business. The Louisville Slugger means baseball, and it means a baseball bat. And the newest slugger, the MLB Prime, is ahead of the curve. It was introduced because we were ready to make the hardest bat ever made. A harder bat means less flex in the wood and higher rebound effect on the ball, and that translates to speed. One of the defining elements that gives the prime its hardness is the three-step finishing method. It starts with the filler, which is it's hand dipped in and all the excess is removed. The filler fills all the grains and cavities. Next is the 360 degree compression process, which evenly compresses and hardens the hit zone. Our new compression process is a, a series of wheels and a belt through heat and 600 pounds of pressure that we actually compress the hitting area of the bat. Uh, it makes it harder, makes the ball shoot off the bat faster. After compression, the wood has absorbed the filler, creating a base for step two, the sealer. And the sealer actually connects it with the, the wood, the primer, and then prepares it for the top coat. 
The lacquer for the top coat is the same that's been used on guitars for years. Three layers seal the back, giving the highest rating available on the 21 level universal hardness scale, 9H. So all these combined gives us the hardest bat that Louisville Slugger's ever made. But it's not a slugger without the world famous oval emblem. Application is different depending on the wood. Most take a process called foil branding. It uses a heated plate up to 300 degrees and forces ink into the wood and still leaves the impression. Maple is too brittle for branding. You are actually causing a structural failure on the bat by pushing that wood down and crushing it to get our brand into it. Instead, the logo is applied to the maple bat using a pad printing method. The final finishing touch is adding the player's name, team, and MLB grading. Now we have a pro-grade official Louisville Slugger. We've had 8,000 contracted players since the very first one, Hornus Wagner, in the 1800s. You don't have to be a pro to swing a Louisville Slugger. There's a model for everyone who wants to play the game. We've made well over 100 million bats in the history of our company, and uh, we hope to make 100 million more.